Hey, what's up, everyone? At Notice Gates, I'm going to show you how to uh, eject your eSATA drive or scan for changes without going to your device manager and scanning scanning for hardware changes. That way, your eSATA drive pops up. Um, an easy program and very, very simple, very, very small program. It's called Hot Swap. You can download it in the description uh, link below. Um, first thing you want to do is download it and select what version of operating system you have, what bit version you have. If you don't know what bit version you have, for Vista 7 and 8 users, you want to click on start. You want to type in system. And then you're going to look for control panel. Click on system. And right below Windows Edition, it's going to be system. Um, go below ratings, processor, installed memory, and system type. Mine is 64 bit operating system. Yours could be 32 bit. So please select which version you have. It's going to be a 32 bit folder or it's going to be a 64 bit folder. So you go inside either folder, which, whichever version you have, and, and uh, leave it in that folder. Don't do anything yet. So you want to click on start. You want to go to this, this folder right here. It's either your name or your email address. Click on that. And I'm going to right click. I'm going to move here. And then after that, you want to right click again, create shortcut. Right click, properties, go to compatibility, and click on run this program as administrator. You don't have to do this, but I do this to get all the administrator privileges for this program. That way you don't ever have problems. Some people will have problems and some may not. I'm not too sure. I don't know. I haven't read around for that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. I want to right click again and then click cut. Go to start all programs and look for start startup. Right click and then click paste. And it's gonna this this is not gonna pop up, so don't worry about it. So I'm gonna replace the file destination. Now once that's done, your shortcut's gonna disappear, and that's a good thing. So once you have done that, click close that window, go back to start, start up uh, all programs, and then look for startup again. And uh, click on hot swap shortcut. Now this should pop up every single time when your wind, uh, Windows operating system um, loads. So I have my eSATA drive connected to my computer right now, and um, it's not popping up. It's a 250 gig hard drive, and you'll see it. It's not here. Uh, see this one's uh, 150 gigs. It's 280 gig hard drives. This is my terabyte. This is my 80 gig. I should put my solid state drives in here. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Maybe because I'm losing. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's not there. So I'm going to right click, right click, scan for hardware changes. So for those of you who uh, this eSATA drive doesn't pop up for you, this program will be perfect for you. And if you don't have a way of ejecting it, like it stays there, like you go to my computer and you already disconnected it, but it's still showing you that it's still there this will automatically eject it for you and you can safely eject it every single time without losing any data some people lose data some people won't I'm not too sure I don't know I haven't looked that up so I'm gonna scan for hardware just and you'll see my uh, my hard drive pop up and there it is my hard drive popped up so I'm gonna close this and you're gonna see that it's over here um, I need you guys to right click rename and then mark this hard drive as something like external or uh, whatever you have on yours like school work or uh, movie drive or game drive whatever but make sure it's different from all your other drives if you have multiple drives and they say local disk C local disk D local disk G or whatever I name mine game so I can know which hard drive it is I name my one terabyte drive because I use it for fraps and then local disk is fine because I know this is for the operating system so for this drive I use I just put whatever on here so I just call it the external drive because I know it's the external drive that I'm using so I'm going to close this out and if you want to safely eject it you want to left click and then look for the external whatever you named it click on it and the little bubble will pop up saying that it's been safely ejected. See? Safe to hot swap hardware. That's pretty much saying that it's safely ejected. So, and that's it. So, let's uh, confirm it. Go to computer. And then you will not see it. See? So, now it's gone. 
um, if you want to scan for it again, just right click the program and scan for hardware changes. Now, I didn't go over, I can't remember if I went over, but um, this little icon sometimes is in this section right here, in this little bubble. So you want to left click, hold it, drag it, and it would, uh, it'll, it'll show up here. That way you don't, you know, like, hey, where's my icon? I don't know what he's talking about. Um, it's in this section right here in the little area that you can't see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any comments, leave comments, rate, uh, subscribe, and like this uh, every video and every other video as well. Um, this does help me keep my YouTube channel going. Um, I upload videos as much as fast as possible, you know, things that come to mind, programs that I use, uh, you know, etc., etc. Uh, if you guys have any problems with your computers and YouTube, uh, some of the videos, uh, if you can't find a YouTube video that doesn't explain it correctly for you, or there's no video on YouTube that can um, help you fix the problem. If you can, get Cam Studio, uh, Cam Studio Recorder, uh, record it. Uh, let's see the options. Um, try to get uh, XVID MPEG 4 Kodiak, um, K Lite Mega Kodiak Pack, or K Lite Full uh, Kodiak Pack. And then if you have plenty of space on your computer, just make the quality at maximum so I don't have to squint my eyes to see what you're doing and all that for the lettering and stuff like that. Um, the higher quality, the bigger the file is going to be, but I always upload my videos at high quality. I don't have fast internet, but I, I try to upload these videos as small as possible and not talk as much because the more I talk, the more, uh, the bigger the size of the video. And so once you select XVID, just leave it at XVID and then quality all the way to the side. And if you want to talk into your like you say you have a microphone click on record audio for microphone and select audio options for microphone and look for your microphone connection mine is uh, Microsoft uh, Cinema Life Cam okay so that's pretty much it guys um, like I said if you have that problem record it and let me know upload it I'll look at it take a look and I'll try to simulate that problem in virtual machine and within virtual machine, if I can fix the problem for you, I'll break it down as much as possible so you can understand how to fix it if it does come with a fix. If you have, uh, um, you know, any any suggestions for my YouTube channel, just let me know uh, what I could upload, um, things that you want me to upload, that you, things you want to see in the future, um, what am I doing wrong, and you know, what not. Um, uh, I'll take everything into consideration so I can be more professional. Not professional as in like I rehearse to record the video no it's not uh, I don't want to be like that I want to be a raw person just you know it, it comes up uh, I'm talk I'm talking as I am going I I'm doing things as I go I make mistakes as I go I don't want to be one of those guys that always constantly rehearsing okay you're gonna start the video recording and three two one hey what's up everyone you know no, not that kind of thing no and like okay and then you get down here you go to the little corner you see the little little markings right here it's like no 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 I'm mean, like if I'm looking at a product and I'm like okay what the hell is that and I'm like oh whatever and then later if I get to know what that little thing is I'll tell you guys in the comments if not I'll have a little bubble popping up on the video I like to do things raw I like to I like to do it right then and there instead of everyone rehearsing how to do it um, why do I do that because I think it's just I think it's just natural to do it that I like that instead of having to do it raw every single time. I mean, uh, uh, prepared every single time. There are going to be things that uh, I review and I don't know what it is. Uh, I'm sorry, but you know, I, I get the items. I when I get the items, I open up the box while I'm recording and I'm just I'm looking at the product as I go and you know whatnot. But anyways, yeah, guys, um, comment, rate, subscribe. As I said before, um, it would help me in the videos and stuff like that. Um, yeah, guys. Um, this is known as Yeeks. Thank you for watching, and f for all the people who left comments and subscribed and stuff like that, thank you. It, it, it's been a great help to me, and you know, I'm glad you guys are finding somewhere that you know it helps you with things that you guys have problems with, or things that uh, I've bought and reviewed it. You know, I, I thank you guys for watching it and leaving comments and rating and subscribing and all that. It does help me, and you know, it just keeps a smile on my face that people do care about. Um, people doing good quality videos you know because I, I've I take my time and doing these things I don't rush into it and say hey hey this and this and that and that yeah but anyway guys thanks for watching this is Donald Geeks have a good day